All right, players. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Got the infamous bluegrass cue right here by Mr. Richard Harris. You don't see these real often. Everybody that's got one seems to really kind of hoard it or hang on to it. What a good player. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Very solid player. It's amazing to me how one cue maker from another can build a cue with bird's eye maple or any type of specific wood. Then you go to the same wood, different maker, and the hit is completely different. A lot of that has to do, of course, with their uh, construction, the weight of the cue, and a lot of different variables. Of course, their pin, their joint, the shaft, there's a lot of variables. This cue right here is a straight up player. Nice, clean, all the way around. It's got a great uh, old school pigskin wrap on it. These are becoming very hard to come by, by the way. I know a lot of cue makers that do repair work and they do um, leather wraps and they just simply cannot get this anymore. This is one of the best wraps in my opinion by far. It's got a really nice grip to it. Just kind of really grips your hand, or your hand grips the wrap really well. Doesn't slide. 3 8 11 Southwest style big pin. And this, this comes with uh, custom joint protectors that were actually original to the queue. As you can see right here. Very clean all the way around. It's signed by Richard Harris at the bottom right here. And then it's got, his, uh, it's got the number and the date that it was made underneath the butt cap. So it was made in 2014. Very, very, very clean. All original condition. No dents, no dings. This came out of a collection. It's not a brand new cue. I wouldn't uh, try to express it that way. But again, no dents, no dings. It's definitely a cue that anybody would be proud to own. And it would definitely make for a perfect everyday player. Nice lighter butt weight, by the way. Now his cues are not real thin. So he does make a little bit... Bigger of a butt taper. It's not the biggest I've ever seen, but it's definitely not a thin taper. It is a bigger handle. Nice old school handle. It's got his double dash ring signature, Richard Harris double dash rings at all positions. The the shafts are the original maple shafts. They're both right around 12.7, maybe just a touch different, but right around 12.7. One of the shafts can use a little bit of a cleaning. You can see a little bit of bluing on there. It's not bad. Everything rolls pretty good. He does use a uh, parabolic taper, so you'll notice a little tiny bit of like a lift at the joint, but that's actually the way that all of his cues are. They're not supposed to roll any different. The shafts, I'll roll them out for you here real quick. So if you notice the butt of the cue, when you roll it on the rail, it rolls, rolls absolutely perfect. Nice, nice and straight all the way around. Really, really good plain cue. For any of you that know about the bluegrass cues, maybe you can make a comment of what he does different that makes him play so, so, so good. If you're following us on YouTube, please check out my website, crossroadcues.com. We do ship cues out daily. Look at that. Nice and straight on the shafts right there. No variation at all. Again, one of them could use a little bit of a cleaning. These cues are not easy to come by, though. You just won't, you won't find his cues available very often because people tend to hang on to them. So there you go. does have a lighter butt to it. Uh, I've got the numbers right there on the post. I know it came up in the 14. So if you like a lighter cue, if you like a lighter cue, and you want one that plays dynamic, I don't see how you can get much better than a bluegrass custom cue by Mr. Richard Harris. Thank you again for taking a look. There's the custom joint protectors once again. This bad boy is available for immediate shipping. The discounted price is plus shipping. We do insure for the full amount, signature required, and we ship through UPS, second day error. So if you get it right now, we'll get it in your hands in a couple of days and you can start winning some money with it, taking down some tournaments, getting some league trophies. Thanks for taking a look. Crossroad Cues.